something to squish. We were both running low on nuggets. I squished all the bud Darren gave me the other day into a beautiful pad, uh, uh, blob of, of rosin. This is important. But now we're down at the Sunrise uh, 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 Wellness Foundation here with uh, Max and Dom. We've got the development application on the wall here that shows that they're looking to cha uh, change of use from retail store to medical marijuana related use. So this is one of the things our city of Vancouver is doing. They're trying to give these licenses out for people to be able to do business in this industry. I think it's fantastic what's happening. So pretty cool. They, they actually have about six licenses in Vancouver now that have been approved. Right. And and what we're having is legal weed. Legal Let's weed. go buy some. Not really in a sense. It's not a federal law. It doesn't really make it legal in a sense, but it makes it so the city isn't going to come down and, and send the police. Now, the federal government still considers this completely illegal, and they could potentially send the federal police, but at this point in time, it hasn't happened, and we're pretty stoked with this step as it is. Why don't we head in and check out what they've got at the Sunrise Wellness Foundation. I'll tell you, one of the things about this place is the quality is on point. I think, I think in Vancouver, this is kind of be that, that place that has the quality that we look for. Yeah. 100%. Let's head in. Let's go grab some nugs. Thank you. Walk right in and Johnny B's already behind the counter. Well, if you're gonna get a new job, gotta have a trainer in, in, in butt tender and training, I'm in training. Nice. I, I like it. So the best part of all this is is because I'm I'm being I'm in training. Yeah. I have to step back and watch what happens here. So I put my hands behind my back. Alright. And smell. Beautiful. Hey, I'm in the mirror too. What's up everybody? Hey! Dom! Thanks for having us. Good to see you, Mark. Yeah, good to see you no, as well. I'm, I'm going to step outside. I shouldn't be behind here. This is where the staff is. I'm not staff. I'd love to be a bud tender, but instead I'm going to consume your guys' bud. So I'm going to step outside. All right, Come yeah. Here. Stand beside you in the mirror. Hey! Yeah, so Johnny and I came by today thinking we would look at some of the kind nuggets that you guys are often known for. Something in uh, regards to a nice flavor. A really uplifting or heavy, both of the effects are good for us, but something that squishes really nice because we know Johnny B is going to be squishing that. Going to be getting busy on that sure. Sasquatch. Well, you know what? I, I squish. I squish pretty much. If, I, if, it's, if it's a nug, I squish it. If it doesn't return, I don't squish it anymore. There you go. Let's right. go through some of the flavors here just in the. Uh, we got some Hindu Kush. Some Mi Amore. Some Hindu Star. Some Diamond OG. And some Bruce Banner. Oh, yeah. Wow. Blueberry Diesel. All right, what do you got going on here, Dom? We've got a few exclusive strains as well. Um, these are pretty much, you can only find them here at Sunrise Wellness. And uh, they come from the OGK Labs, these three. And then this is one that we've done the, uh, the Fino selection ourselves on. Mm -hmm. um, they've all got 09 cookies crossed into them, which is the burner's cut. Uh, so they're really nice. We've got a Gorilla Glue 4 crossed with 09 cookies, uh, which is you know known as Gorilla Cooks or Glue Cooks, a few different names it goes by. Really nice bud structure, really frosty. We'll show you some of the nugs there in a second. Mm -hmm. The next one up is Teflon, which is cherry pie, crossed with Wi-Fi Alien OG, crossed with 09 cookies. Mm -hmm. That cherry pie really comes through with it. It's got nice kind of purpley nugs to it. Uh, beautiful little bud structure, little nuglets. Um, the third from the OGK Labs, which are grown by Sunrise Gardens, is the 09 cookies squared. 
And so that's basically Onan Cookies back crossed into itself with the Wi-Fi alien. Beautiful. Even through the, the jar. Yeah. Looks very kind. And then the fourth is the Platinum Girl Scout Cookies. That's the Dark Heart Nursery Cup crossed with Wi-Fi 43. Uh, both pretty legendary strains. Um, we did the Fino selection on this one uh, and we think it's definitely a winner. Got a few more rounds to go to perfect it, but so far the response has been pretty great. Um, Looks beautiful. I wanted to show you just a few buds here. Let me just grab my gloves before I touch these. Excellent. So this is the 09 cookies. How does it smell? Does it smell loud? No! That's loud. It's got some loudness to it. It had a scream down there. Looks beautiful. Oh yeah. Looks well, I'm definitely gonna have to take um take some of that. The O9 is nice. It's got a real nice uh, thin wax and cuticle on it too, so I think it would be a, it'd make a really nice hash string. I'm sure it would sift well, but I'm sure if you're just squishing it for rosin, you're gonna be quite happy with that one. Especially the Teflon as well if you're looking for terps. If you're looking for something really heavy though, I'd probably recommend the glue cookies. Just because it's got that yield, it's got that flavor. Gorilla glue is common down in the States, but it's something kind of new up here in Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone up here wants to go for the glue, the cookies and everything. While it's, well, I hear from all the Americans, they're always looking at pink cushions, which is a very common strain to us, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so this is the Gorilla, that's the cookies. This one's the Cooks. So let me get a little bit closer, I think. The Cooks. I said he, this one was the Gorilla Cooks. Uh, the one you had before that was the Gorilla Cooks, that's the 09. Oh, this is the 09. Yeah. That's the tough one. Alright, beautiful. So, just by looking at the first three, I'm going to say the tough one, Charity Pie Cross. It's a definite winner. If you're looking for chirps as well as yield, um, I only pressed it on a hard press, which doesn't have the same pressure as a Sasquatch, unfortunately. And we were right. still getting, you know, 15% and that was... You know, just with with the lock getting stuck in our bags because it just doesn't have the same pressure right. as that. I didn't use any bags yesterday when I s pressed that seven grams out. I just made it like long, like a hot dog, and just went smash. Sometimes that's the best, right? Another technique that I've heard people do is squishing it with a bag and then collecting it and then putting it in a bag so they can squish it at a lower temperature once they do. So. All right. Okay, that's so flat, I'm going with tough one so far. Yeah, nice and anything with that cherry pie in it, right? Well, yeah, I'd say, I'd say the best two for you guys to squish would be the Gorilla Cooks and the Teflon. I'm already kissing. Well, alrighty then. I'll take a quarter of each. Sounds good. Well, let's get those going for you guys. Good on you, Johnny B. Well, I don't even buy, I can't, I can't believe, I, I don't even buy. It's Puff Wednesday. And that's what makes it so, just so awesome. And you know what? I mean, I mean, a lot can only grow on this year and, and don't have the quality that I'm missing. This is getting close. Right. Might even be right on par. Well, we try and definitely always raise the standards. We're all about quality. We don't want to compromise at any any level of you know our products. Even our five dollar grams like this Texas of Time Warp burns clean, tastes good. It's got terps. It's a greenhouse strain, but you know you don't have to worry about spending five dollars a gram on a on a strain here that's gonna get you sick. Texas yeah, of Time Warp is also man. known for me as also a Haley's Common. Exactly, because from when you grow it indoors, it tends to change into that, doesn't it? Yeah. Very lovely, very Definitely some, lovely. some superior strains you guys got going on here. So you said a quarter of each, but I'm just gonna split the two quarters between these three, because I think all three of these are gonna be really nice squishers, all very different in flavor as well. Cause you'll have the Teflon. He just upsold me, you hear that? He just upsold me. He's like, no. I think you need all three. He's still getting the same no, amount. The same amount, I'm just gonna oh. split between these three, cause I don't all want right. you to miss out on the 09 cookies. I think it's pretty awesome. John's like, give me a quarter of each. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're awesome, John. Ah, uh, yes. The bad, oh, maybe that, that stock can be a little bit, you know, over... Look at that. You take the stock out for me. Well, we don't want to give you too much stick here. I'm just squishing it. It's one of the best nugs for squishing. 
Squishy nugs. Oh, John, you'll you'll roll some joints. I pretty much like you know want a, a nice little. I, I roll it into a nice little log. I I probably smoke a joint, uh, but for me, it, it's about the extractions, and that's what really helps for me and what I really enjoy. So it's like kind of like smoking one of these uh, big joints. You you got to smoke that joint for like twenty minutes before you feel anything. Where you do one little dab. And you're Where you do one little dab. I was like woohoo. Is rocking the Blue Rivers? Yes, we do. We got quite a selection of it. Blue River Terpenes. Swiss, Swiss Tsunami, Cavell Sour Diesel, Black Lime Reserve. Well, I get people asking me all the time where to get terpenes in the city, and I tell them this is pretty much the one shop that I, I have sold terpenes to. Yeah. If you don't want to wait for the shipping, come into the Sunrise. We can pick them up the same day. Yeah, exactly. I love the packaging, too. Yeah, so these are all uh, BPA-free craft paper, um, recycled craft paper, so, you know, they're pretty smelly-proof. Mm -hmm. One of our sign signatures. Beautiful. It's actually pretty similar to the well, blue really pack want packaging, actually. Smelly-proof. I see you got med tainers sitting over there, too, with your logo on it. Fantastic med tainers. Which is awesome. Which are great for people who've got sore, uh, sore wrists because it's much easier to hold on to than one of those small little grinders. Mm -hmm. I like that. Blue River, yeah, you got everything. Unfortunately, you got to have some hash, bubble hash right behind you. Well, we've got a few different ones in here. Rock and uh, cream hash. We had some nice rosins in there from Concentrated X. Uh, some nice. strawberry banana flower rosin, but that flew off the shelf within the first day of getting it. Oh, yeah. We still have some of this dry sift rosin. Um, we've got some nice uh, Heavenly Days live resins there if you're into all of those types of extractions. But we Covering all the go. gamuts. Yeah, we try to cover everything. That's a good thing. That's what we like to hear. We like to see access. Cannabis is a quiver. There's no reason to put only one shot in your quiver. When you can fill that quiver right up. With all the cultivars and all the extractions. And... I'm pretty excited right now. Well, it's nice to be able to come to a shop that actually has some dank nug. You do take, um, you take credit cards, right? We take debit. We can't take credit yet. But no, we're, we're trying to stay ahead of the curve with just the debit machine here. Well, pretty much, you know what, the, the whole thing is, is, is being able to take cannabis at another level where we're to be able to start purchasing it on that scale. I think with the application being on the wall and how the licensing is here happening in Vancouver, I'm really looking forward to being able to, be able to come into these establishments, pur purchase legally, rec and medical, and be able to use whatever it takes means. And it'd be hey, a wonder if we could actually get our insurance to cover it for us too. And yeah, I think we're that, well, slowly, hello. slowly moving That's the next that. level right there. Yeah, if they start insuring our cannabis, you know, um, um, We're laughing. We're laughing if that happens. That's, that's super amazing. Especially for medical patients, you know? Like, if they're going to introduce the recreational, we can't forget and leave the medical patients in the dust. For sure not. Well, it comes down to access and it comes down to patients' rights and a lot of people have their prescriptions paid for. They don't have to purchase their, their pharmaceutical drugs for their conditions. And someone like myself and a lot of others use cannabis for their conditions. So why do we have to purchase our medication when it's needed every day to, for general well-being, for, for, for homeostasis is what I say. So I feel better every day. I use our lovely plants. This guy's got it down, he even knows the color. He's like, that's the one. Nope, nope, that doesn't work. Teflon. It's definitely got a very nice cakey nose to it. You know, I, I really, really am a, I'm a connoisseur of cushions. I think that's why. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have this in, in my garden. I don't, I don't have these flavors available to me right now. I'm sure I'll be able to access them sooner than later. Well, actually, I am accessing them right now, here. That's the best part. And I didn't spend three months growing and curing it, and I know the quality is definitely exactly what I would actually be accustomed to. And we're excited to have them on our shelves because it's been a project that we've been working on for a better part of a year now. Well, I know the strains because these are some of the strains that I had popped at the beginning of yeah. the year. Which was the, what you guys are calling the tough on the chair pie crust of the old night cookies was a strain that I yeah. I started working with and um, due to the fact that I went for some surgeries and stuff like that, I had to kind of wait a little bit. So being able to try it right now when I was getting ready to grow it is just, for me, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's only a couple of people, like, you know, maybe less than five people that are growing these strains. So it's really nice to see 
to see the differences between like the few growers that have them because they're all doing slightly different methods. These ones are done aeroponically and under cavitas, whereas uh, I know you know another mutual friend of ours has them in a small little tent and he creates some very very high quality, fully organic and just like gorgeous looking, almost like diamonds on the bud. Yeah, you definitely see the difference when using organics compared to when you're doing like, like you say, a current culture system or yeah. a water system or using synthetics. Um, but with the, any kind of proper flush, anyone knows what they're doing, it's really not that hard to figure out. So, so I split it up like that for me. That's okay. Does that work? Beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some too. All right, well, do you know what you want to try? Do you want to try some other ones or the same ones that Johnny got? Or, I, I, I know you want some more of that Gorilla Cooks because you enjoyed that last time. Yeah, let me see here. I guess I'll probably get like uh... So far you don't have the Platinum. So maybe, maybe a little bit of the Platinum. The Sunrise, the the sunrise Cut. We didn't do the Platinum. We got Teflon 09 and Gorilla Cooks. Sure, man. Whatever you think. Definitely want some Teflon. I just want to see the results of these, uh, these squishes because I'm excited. Yeah, I'll film it. Thing. Probably squish them all in one shot too, like three squish. <laughs> Here's the four piles. Squish. That'd be the That's best it. way of doing it. That's it. It's been a while since I was able to just go to a dispensary and buy some herb. I gotta say, I've, I haven't really done this in a long time. I haven't gone to coffee shops in Amsterdam in a long time. Like I got all those things out of my system in the '90s, and I was a part of you know supplying the, uh, the Compassion Club back in. Uh, the early 2000s and late 90s. So it's nice as well for me who doesn't have any plants growing right now to just be able to come down and uh, pick up uh, close to a zip of some buds and take them home and squish them. Get some nice resin for the next Puff Wednesday. For me, it's... It, uh, Ooh. All right, just gonna pay my bill here. For my delicious, delicious flavors. How much is it? Uh, 55. So 55, 65, and 85. 85. More complex, more colors. You can't find that color anywhere. Any glass grower knows that that, even Mark knows, that is a sick color. Yeah. You know that. So one last thing we wanted to mention was that you guys have a Christmas giveaway coming up. Yeah, we're doing a little holiday giveaway uh, in collaboration with High Integrity Glass Art. He is uh, definitely someone to look up to if you're into high-end glass and uh, collecting. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've done this in collaboration with, uh, with them. And for the first prize place, this is the first place you're going to see it on uh, Puff Wednesday, is we've got a Mothership Mini, brand new, with an XL frosted OFC. And yeah, this thing is nice. Yeah, I was just going to say, throw that lighter up next to it so they can actually get an idea. It is miniature, yeah, and obviously cool. it comes with the laser cut turtle case with the Mothership logo on the front. Beautiful. It's really cool. Very nice. Look, the XL uh, maintainer is even bigger than that than I'm the mini. Crack that open and let's see the. I like the color. And it's laser cut, so it's made specifically for your mini. So whoever's lucky enough to win this, oh like, yeah, that's. We'll have a pretty color. awesome case to go with it. That is beautiful. <clears throat> God, this is a nice little pipe. It just looks so clean. Look at this. I don't think it's even ever had water in it. It came pretty much straight from Mothership to here. This is second prize? This is second place prize, and it will come with a fresh swing as well. Um, I don't know the exact color. I believe it's got a blue stardust, maybe a bit of cobalt in there, maybe even green stardust, depending on which way you look at it through the light. You're mm -hmm. getting quite a few different, different shades. Very cool. And so how do people get entered to uh, win such a thing here? So it's open to uh, in-store customers or our mail order customers. Right. Uh, and basically for every $200 they spend per order, they get a raffle entry. So, you know, this is running for almost two months. You've got lots of opportunities to come in. Um, we keep a, a complete tally of it on our system. And basically, uh, right around Christmas, someone will be the lucky winner of either the first or second prize. And for the third prize, we've got a bunch of different mothership accessories. A little dab rag, a dab mat, like a little like a non-stick slip yeah, pad, a little slip. bunch of stickers, and uh, we've got lots and lots of uh, collectible mothership calendars, which have tons of really cool of their pieces inside. Yeah, of beautiful that. photography. Yeah. And Mr. Gray Skull. Oh yeah, January for the win. I can't wait for my phone call just before Christmas. Beautiful. You never know. Hey, I Johnny B, you might win. 
I had to because I, of course... Could be a puff, could be a puff Wednesday celebration right there. Absolutely. But I gotta say, part of me really hopes that someone that doesn't own a mothership... I don't want it. Uh, I want well, it. Well, no, of course we want it. I just mean, I, I, I would hope that someone who never owned a mothership in their life... Gets a chance to win it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Very cool, man. Very cool. All right, well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We've had a really nice little time here. Johnny B, you got some flavors? I got some flavors. We both got flavors. Got some squishable flavors. I want to thank uh, Dom it's a pleasure for walking always, us through, as time. always, yes. Thanks and uh, there may be more, there may not be. Either way, this was more than you thought you were going to get this Puff Wednesday. Sunrise Wellness Foundation, one on Kingsway, one on Broadway? That's correct. So that's 258 West Broadway or 2943 Kingsway. Awesome. Well, very cool. And part two of this will be me squishing the nuggets that I bought, so that won't be a Puff Wednesday, but it'll be kind of a continued Sunrise Wellness uh, nugget squish video. So, right on, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. We'll see you soon.